हाई इंजीनियरिंग जनता आई एम वैभव शुक्ला एंड टूडे वील बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट विच इज दी बेस्ट लैंग्वेज फॉर टी सी एस इन क्यू टी एंड वट कैन बी द लैंग्वेज दैट कैन हेल्प अस आउट फाइन सो लेट्स गो अहेड लेट्स चेक दैट आउट विच इज द बेस्ट लैंग्वेज फॉर टी सी एस इन क्यू टी एंड लेट्स डाइव इन डीप बट बिफोर दैट गो अहेड फॉलो अस ऑन ऑल दी सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एनी हायरिंग अपडेट एंड top 3 comments get prep insta prime subscription for free so do not miss out on that chance as well fine so the first language is c++ and i'll discuss everything in detail so that it helps you out in the manner to choose your favorite language because here it is not just about favorite language it is about clearing an exam for tcs and qt it is essential that you you think in terms of clearing the exam fine so let's take a few realistic points in consideration then let's comparatively analyze which will be the best language fine so if i tell you that the language that you see here is c++ the first language fine that i am presenting in front of you is c++ so what are the benefits it offers efficiency and speed because c++ offers low level memory management and faster execution time definitely c++ is very efficient as a language it is very very uh, strongly supportive for the comp competitive programming fine alongside that on system resources you are provided direct control if you are using c++ fine for example pointers are there for this memory management is this uh, there for this fine and this is helpful when you are solving complex problems which which require memory handling as well fine so these are some benefits of c++ but apart from that student perspective se iske kya benefit hai first easy to understand fine similar to c in many ways fine even if you somehow write printf in place of c out it will still still work in c++ because c++ supports printf scanner so this will work here so in this case it is similar to c in many ways so for a student who has just begun with his preparation for him it is just a wonderful language because aasan padti hai theek hai now for anybody who is targeting the roles of dot net developer fine and dot net developer and embedded coding developer fine so anybody who is targeting these fields dot net embedded coding fine alongside that if you are targeting something like devops however devops is language independent in whatever language you are working you can be a devops engineer but people who are working in c++ generally they are quite comfortable in the devops domain as well so this is just an empirical evidence not something that i should say technically they'll be good in devops not like that but generally it is an observation fine so if you're somebody who is targeting for these or if you're a full stack developer enthusiast still for data structures and algorithm solving you'll need a language and that c++ is usually very efficient but there are a few people who are comfortable with this language fine java why so they've worked a lot in java this is purely object oriented language fine and this can also help in tackling the complex problems in tcs and qt because you have a reusability in it reusable code mil jata hai so this is something that object oriented paradigm can help you fine so java achhi language no doubt but for beginners for beginners it is complex fine so beginners ke liye thodi mushkil language hai it is it is not very easy cake walk language aasan language nahi hai pehli baat dusri baat spring boot fine spring mvc java backend all those people who are targeting these particular skills for them java is wonderful who have worked in these skills who have decent exposure of these skills who are very good in these skills 
can take up Java as the language. Otherwise, think twice before taking Java as a language because Java is a complex language. It is a tough language. Fine. Now, coming to the active of languages. Fine. I call Python active of languages because here you do not have to do anything. Simply press on a button, start key, or chaladi. Fine. So Python is that easy. Ease of use, as I said, readability is superb. It has simple, clean syntax, makes it easier to write and understand. And this is ideal for solving problems when you're short on time. So in faster time, you can solve this, fine. Large standard library. So a lot of standard functions like sorting and various other things already exist in Python, fine. Very vast library of functions. So there it plays a huge role. But now there is a drawback in this. One, compilers of test, which is TCS and QT, fine. Sometimes don't bring out the correct output, fine. And it is not from your end, your problem is not there. Somebody can write the absolute correct code and then receive an incorrect output, fine, from the compilers of various tests. Why so? Sometimes the indentation is different. Sometimes there is a basic difference in the version of Python that is being supported. So a lot of times such minor messes happen in the exam. And for that, if you're somebody who's for data science field, fine or somebody who is very, very interested in AI, ML, and such kind of fields. If you are interested in these fields, go ahead, happily go ahead and take this language, but be ready, such problems can arise. I'm not saying they will arise for sure, no. But sometimes they do, one in a million chance, fine. So Python is generally not suggested due to these languages, but if you're somebody who's very proficient in Python, who has done coding all his life in Python, do not switch, stick to Python, fine. So if you're somebody who's good in Python, stick to Python, who's good in Java, stick to Java. If you're somebody, jo kisi mein bhi achha nahi hai, fine. Or if you're somebody who's confused, or if you're somebody who's intermediate in every language, stick to C++, as simple as that. Final verdict, fine. The final verdict for beginners, fine for beginners or the confused people for you it is c plus plus fine that is my final verdict for the beginners for the confused people who are not very good at coding who come from non-tech background for all of you c plus plus is the go-to option go ahead choose this language as simple as that okay isse zyada idhar udhar bhatakne ki zarurat hi nahi hai problem tumhari solve kar diye thik hai now whoever needs this information go ahead spread this information to that person fine keep doing good without any expectation as i always say good will come back to you and that's all for today have a wonderful day ahead mehnat karte rao you'll very soon crack tcs and qt with the prime profile of tcs and qt all the best thank you